guys, Auto Fanatics. So this is the new product from Chemical Guys. This is their new Hydro Slick Ceramic Coating Hyper Wax. This is actually a SiO2 infused ceramic suspension gel wax. Uh, like I said, I do a lot of testing behind the scenes of products. A lot of this 9H ceramic infused products, a lot of them, to be honest with you, did just a lot of hype, a lot of marketing. When a product comes along, and it impresses me. I buy the product. I take the time to do it. I am not sponsored by Chemical Guys at all. I don't use any of their products at all in any of my arsenal. Maybe some microfiber towels here and there. So this product was released about a month ago. Immediately sold out. Thousands and thousands of customers are raving about it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. I've tried a lot of those sprayable ceramic sealants that say that they're 9H coatings where they say after you're done spraying it on your car, you got to throw your towels out and all that good stuff. I didn't really see any kind of impression to uh, merit the cost of some of those coatings from many manufacturers. So this particular product is not like that. It's not saying that as soon as you use it on a wax applicator or you take it off with your towels, you have to discard your towels because it's going to crystallize and, and change. So I don't really know the technology that's in this particular product, but I'm going to tell you the slickness, the ease of application, the hydrophobic properties are freaking out of control and that's why I'm showing it to you on this video today. Now, on the table here, I've been testing a lot of ceramic coatings for the past year and a half. You know, we got some of the popular ones online from C Quartz, from Car Pro. I test uh, Migliori, Armor Shield, quite a bunch of other ones from Gion as well. Now, you guys know, you follow my channel, I'm big into wax, okay? I'm a big Colonite fan. 915 is my go to wax on pretty much all my cars. I just love the depth, the ease of use, and everything about it. I've done, actually done application videos on how to properly do this on your car. Colonite 476, a little bit more durable. This is considered my winter go-to wax. Now, a couple of months back, I believe it was back in April, I decided to try Fuso Soft 99. This is from Japan, and it has PTFE Teflon in the wax. Now, durability, this so far has been the most durable wax in a can that I've actually used. The only problem is, it's for me, I have a lot of hard times uh, applying it with the haze and the residue and everything in between. Uh, it's just one of those things that I just think it's too application, too temperature sensitive for my needs, so I don't really use this anymore. But from testing, this stuff freaking lasts a long time, and I actually am stripping the trunk of my car, because when this was applied way back months ago, it does not come off that easily. So. I'm going to strip the trunk of my car. I'm going to show you in the demonstration portion of the video. We're going to I get no haze, no residue, no flakiness. It does not turn the plastic and rubber white like a lot of products do. Also, the scent, it has a very, very faint uh, solvent scent to it, but it's almost not even noticeable. Um, they also didn't add any kind of fragrance to this, so it doesn't smell like bubble gum or berries or anything like that, uh, which I actually like because I, I don't like you know using products that are just overly scented. Now. They're also suggesting you have to properly prep the paint. It's also saying that it will last up to 12 months, which I don't really believe anything will last up to 12 months, but I'll tell you right now, the Fuso coat, this stuff does not come off that easily, and this stuff does last. I haven't tested it up to 12 months, but I've seen six to nine months of durability out of the Fuso coat. I just don't like using it. They also said that when you apply this product, to, to wait two to three hours before any exposure to water so they want this to cure to your clear coat now they also are suggesting that this product can be used as a topper to give your professional ceramic coating a little bit of a boost because like I said a lot of people think ceramic coatings are just you apply it once and there's no maintenance to your car but there is very very particular maintenance to a ceramic coating to keep the hydrophobic properties the slickness and the gloss up to par as the car is being driven and used throughout its life so as far as application, this is extremely easy to use. It works as an outstanding topper. I've tested it also on a buddy of mine's ceramic coated car. Same, same results that I'm getting on my car. So we're gonna go over to my Alfa Romeo right now. I'm gonna just give you a close up of the, the front nose because I did the front nose of the car. And you guys can see this is a black car. It's on an overcast day, which is probably the best day to see the gloss intensity. And you can see the reflectivity in the paint. So it's got the same pop as applying Colonite 915, but the slickness, when you go up to the paint and you feel it, it feels, I don't know, I can't even compare it to anything because a lot of the Caranuba-based products do not 
give that feel and ceramic coatings that I've been testing do not give that feel. So you can see that right there. Now the front of my car, I only did the nose because like I said, I don't want to do the whole car. I just do it for testing. I break up panels of my cars and I test products and then, and then I strip them off and I go to the next product that I'm testing. So I just did the two front fenders and I did the hood. I did not even do the front bumper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod. I'm going to grab the garden hose and I'm going to show you the hydrophobic properties. So you guys could see the water repellency. Very, very ultra tight beads up here. And then the water just glides right off the surface of the hood, like I'm showing you. Even, even on the fender, it's just not, it's not sticking. So I'm going to grab the Ego Blower, because that's really a good test that I found when testing products and waxes, is how much water pulls off the surface with the Ego Blower. Does it drag across the surface? Because that's going to indicate that there's going to be some surface tension. So let's grab the Ego Blower right now. So that's pretty much it guys. You could see how the water completely blew off the surface. There's no streaking. There's no surface tension whatsoever on the nose of the car. All right guys, so we cleaned the trunk. We did a light polish with the Griot's G9. Now I'm gonna hit it with some Dion Prep. I'm going to fully decontaminate this surface. We wanted to get, I had that Fuso 99 on here from back in April, and that stuff does not come off that easily. So that's why you have to mechanically polish it out. And we got the paint pretty damn clean. And I like to really take extra time to do the preparation, especially when I'm testing out a wax or a sealant or a new product that I'm working on because we want to make sure that it bonds. Now there's been some feedback on the Chemical Guys Hydro Slick online where they were saying it was hard to use and I'm going to tell you right now the only way that this product or colonite or any product that I've ever tried is hard to use is when the surface is not decontaminated, there's embedded contaminants that's causing a tooth action to get this stuff to remove off and the surface is not properly cleaned. So I just wanted to go through the steps because putting this stuff on is an absolute joke. So we're just going to shake the bottle well. I'm using a microfiber wax pad. Now this stuff has a gel consistency. I'm going to put three drops on the pad just like that. And then what I'll do is I'll do this just to kind of like get it in there. You go in a circular pattern, you go straight back and forth, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this stuff is super, super easy to, to apply and for it to flash and get it off. It has a very mild solvent smell to it, and I don't know what's in it, but I'll tell you one thing. It goes on easier than Fuso Soft 99. It comes off easier uh, with the Fuso on a black car. I don't know. I've tried every technique possibly. It always leaves marks and hazing, and, and, and I just struggle with it. But the one thing about this Chemical Guys Hydro Slick Ceramic Hyper Wax is how slick it leaves the finish, the brilliancy, the gloss, intensity, and the instant hydrophobic properties. And considering that I did the nose of my car four weeks ago, and this car stays outside and it's been through many, many washes, it is holding up absolutely incredible. Now, you could also layer this product, it says. Uh, this product is also safe to be applied on top of a ceramic coating. So, this is a very, very interesting product. Not really sure what the chemical composition is, but easy to use. Gloss intensity is through the roof. 
Now, another important application, you just have to read the instructions. It says do not let the surface that's been treated come in contact with water for two to three hours or up to 12 hours. So similar to a ceramic coating, when you do a coating on a car, you got to go keep the car garaged. This car is going to stay garaged uh, just because we want the durability. I'm not going to leave this out. We're going to get some rain uh, later on this evening. So flash time, they recommend removing it between one to two minutes. I've tested this product several ways. I've even tested it up to 10 minutes on my paint, and I still never had a problem getting it off. So we're going to just let that sit in the paint for a while. I'll turn the camera back on, and we're going to uh, wipe it off. All right, guys, so I waited about five minutes, and I just went to go get a fresh microfiber towel. I'm not using anything fancy. I'm not using a PFM towel for something like this. Uh, it's not really needed because it just comes off so easy. And as you're taking it off, the slickness of the finish, it's unlike anything that I've ever used before as far as a wax. That is a quick demonstration of the Chemical Guys Hydro Slick Ceramic Coating Hyper Wax, like I'll show you here. I'll put a link in the description of this video. You can buy this on Amazon. It, should, it goes out of stock uh, pretty frequently, it seems. There's thousands of reviews of customers that love this product. If anybody has issues with the application, you got to do the proper steps. you got to strip the paint. you got to decontaminate it with clay. You do a light polish. You do a prep to get any oils off. And then you apply this like I just showed you here. And you're going to have absolutely incredible results. All right, guys, that concludes the video of the new Chemical Guys Hydro Slick Ceramic Coating Hyper Wax. This stuff is legit, guys. Uh, I wouldn't be showing it on my channel if I didn't think it was worth talking about. Very, very impressed with it. It's got the durability. It's got the hydrophobic properties. has the ease of use. It can be used over existing ceramic coatings to give it the extra pop. I honestly feel this is easier to use than Soft 99 Fuso Coat. Will it last for 12 months? I don't really know. Does this have PTFE in it? I don't really know. Is it a true ceramic product? I don't really know as well because a lot of stuff on the market is all marketing and hype. But this stuff is freaking nice. It works good, easy to use. I'm freaking really impressed with the results like you see here. And on black paint, you can kind of tell if it works or not. So see you guys soon. Please like, subscribe, and share. Set your notifications for the next Auto Fanatic video. And I'll see you guys on the next video soon.